Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, I will teach you how to convert fractions to decimals. We know that um, fractions and decimals and even percentage are the different ways on how to represent a certain number. So it is important for us to know kung paano ba mag-divide or mag-convert our fractions to decimals. Last time, we have discussed how to convert decimals to fractions. So again, allow me to share to you the step-by-step -step process on how to convert a fraction to decimals. So we have your example number one. Convert 3 over 4 or 3 fourths to decimal. So how are we going to do this kind of problem? So ang ginagawa dito, um, gagawa tayo long division. So as you can see, you have here your divisor divisor and this is your dividend set up muna natin kung saan we will have this format so you have your 4 here at dito naman yung 3 ok so ang mangyari we can divide 3 divided by 4 ay hindi pwede so magganda tayo ng 0 dito gawin natin 30 pero maglagay tayo ng decimal. And then sa ibabaw naman, maglagay kita na dito ng decimal. So 30 divided by 4, that will give you how many? 7. Then 7 times 4, that will give you 28. Subtract natin, that is equal to 2. Mag-add ka lang ng 0 dito, ibaba mo dito, that will give you 20. And 20 Divided by 4, that will give you 5. And then 20, and 5 times 4, that is 20. Subtract natin, that will give you 0. Therefore, the equivalent decimal of 3 over 4 is equal to 0 0.75. That is the way on how to convert fraction to decimals. So I have here another example for you to master and to be familiarized on how to convert a fraction to decimal. So we have here convert 1 over 5 to decimal. Sorry, this is, de this is decimal. Una, set up muna natin yung long division. You have to put 5 here as your divisor. At dito naman si 1. Okay, so maglagay tayo rito ng decimal at zero. So dito rin maglalagay tayo ng decimal because we cannot divide 1 by 5. Kasi hindi pwede. So since meron tayong 10, 10 divided by 5, that is 2. Then 2 times 5, that is 10. Pag sinubtract nyo yan, kung mananotis nyo, it will give you zero. At wala lang tayong remainder. Therefore, the equivalent decimal of 1 over 5 is none other than 0 0.2. This is the answer for item number 2. So I hope na sa given two examples natin, nakita nyo na or natutunan nyo na kung paano mag-convert ng fraction to decimal. And do not forget to watch the, the other video on how to convert decimal to fraction kasi mabuting alam nyo kung paano ginagawa ito kasi napakaraming gamit ito. Again, Kung bago ka lang sa YouTube channel ko, don't forget to like, subscribe, at ihit mo na rin yung bell button para updated ka sa ating mga future uploads. Again, I am Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat sa inyo. Bye-bye! Hi guys, you can also like and follow our Facebook page which is named as Math Teacher Gon. We're uploading this for our followers on Facebook so I hope na ma-follow nyo rin at makita Okay, I'm visit ang ating page. So right now, uh, we have we have fourteen thousand followers and likers of this page, and I hope na makasama namin kayo sa page nito. God bless.